Mr. President, you have rightly dismissed the diplomatic option. The Soviet will only tie you down in negotiation and leave us short of our goal, the removal of the missiles. Negotiating will do nothing more than give them time to make the missiles operational, complicating the necessary military task we have at hand. Gentlemen, for the last 15 years, I have fought here at this table, alongside your predecessors, in a struggle against the Soviet. Now, I do not wish to seem melodramatic, but I do wish to impress upon you one observation with all conceivable sincerity, a lesson I learned with bitter tears and great sacrifice. The Soviet understands only one language, action, respects only one word, force. I concur with General Taylor. I recommend, sir, airstrikes followed by invasion, perhaps preceded by an ultimatum to dismantle the missiles, if that is militarily viable. So it appears we have, we have three options. Number one, a uh, surgical airstrike against the missiles themselves. Two, a much larger airstrike uh, against their air defenses, along with the missiles, and three, uh, invasion. So uh, we're certainly going to do number one. Uh, take out those missiles, so it seems to me we can't wait for long though that we should be making those preparations. We're preparing to implement all three options, uh, though I must stress again, sir, there are risks to the strikes without the follow-on invasion. We want to be clear, Mr. President, that we've definitely decided against the political track. At that time, Americans have the huge superiority in the nuclear weapons. So my father created this policy of bluffing or threatening when he told, we are producing missiles like sausages, we have this and this and this, and he pressed opposite side to show the strength that really created so-called missile race on American side because the Soviet Union it was no missile race because we did what we could do with race and without race.